What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Be Mini Drive. Today we're looking at the RLS Career Collection. Basically, if you had a bunch of your favorite mods and we put them all together uh, in one easy package, this is what you would do. This would make it easier for you to have a few different mods. You could just kind of click on, then you have these mods active, and then you can play either free roam or most importantly career mode. Um, this is kind of like a collection, a work in progress as you would see. Uh, of all the different mods that are included in this pack so you can kind of go off here into the uh, you know and and and, and kind of see what all these mods do so we have a few suspension kits oh I have it in full screen though give me a second uh, so yeah there's a bunch of suspension stuff the uh, Hirochi talents in here nice nice you gotta love the talent dude oh I am so excited uh, the Gamers Ultimate Pack, that's a very good brand. The Vertex is in here. The Cross Sport is in here, dude. The Cross Sport is such a good car. The uh, the CEEP Pack, this is the Engine Pack, is a very good pack. I was actually supposed to do a review on that and I forgot. Okay, other things too is the ETKI Wagon and Diesel Engine. Okay, I've used that mod before too. That's a really good mod. All right, there is definitely a lot of different parts here. Let's actually load this up and let's go into career mode and see what we're working with. And while BeamNG takes its time to load, uh, do know that if you stick around to the end of the video, I have a kind of like a little mini interview with Racist. He's going to kind of go over what some of his thoughts were in creating this mod and some of the, the kind of top questions that I had for him. Definitely, if you have more questions, leave them down below and uh, Racist can definitely answer those for you and or I can too. So. All right, loading up into BeamNG Drive, we are in here in the main screen. So we're gonna kind of do a quick little easy, you know, download tutorial since we're already here, correct? So let's let's actually do this. Let's deactivate all my mods so I don't have any uh, confusion between you guys. So let's deactivate them. Everything is deactivated. We will go into the screen and here that says number zero. So zero mods are active right now. If you wanted to play career mode, you absolutely could. You know, nothing nothing affects career mode as far as that goes. So now here's the thing. You go into your mods folder. We're gonna open that up. We're gonna go into repo and we'll leave that bad boy right there. We'll go to the website that we were on. So we'll go to the RLS career collection. We're gonna come all the way down here and we're gonna click download. That's going to download the career collection mod. I'm not gonna re-download it because it is a little, it is a little, little hefty. In the uh, in the in the size department, you're gonna grab that file and you're gonna drop it right here into your uh, into your repo file. Okay, so when that is in here, it's gonna load. Now, usually, if you've done this before, when you put a mod in, BeamNG automatically picks it up and it shows up in this list, and then you can activate it. Uh, for me, the first time I did it, it did not do that. You have to back out, reload the game. Okay, so. Um, for you, may not be a thing, but just know that that is something that may happen. Um, I don't know if it's to have to do with because it's so many mods in one, or if it's just the size of the file, the game doesn't really pick up on it that fast. Your results may vary, so definitely comment down below if you've had any issues with, you know, doing any of that. So we're going to relaunch Beam. All right, and then I'm going to move my floating head back to the uh, correct position for me. <laughs> so we're going to come in here into our mods in our repository. We'll go to the mod manager. So uh, now we see that the RLS career collection is here. We're going to enable that. Um, and then you can also enable other mods that you want to in addition of this one. So uh, I like this, the simple speed limit mod. Um, we will have to activate the RLS career mode mod because these are two independent mods. They're not the same thing. Um, so if you want to use just you know the career overhaul mod, you can activate that one right here. Uh, and I like to run with no police because I am a little chicken. <laughs> uh, and then that's it. That's it for all of those. Yeah, I usually don't run anything else. I think there's one or two more mods that I may run occasionally, which is like uh, my gauges and, and things of that nature. All right. So with the addition of the career collection, uh, it adds a lot of stuff that I wish I used to play with back when I started season two. Because I think it would add a lot better um, kind of rhythm to the game. Um, and, and, and Racist and Tristan are actually doing an amazing job with Career Overhaul as it's, in, you know, in and on of its own. Uh, there's some new features that I want to try out. I'm so close to finishing this game, dude. 
I have a few more things to do, but I've been so busy live streaming and, and doing other things and working on other projects. Next week, for sure, I think Monday, if you guys are interested, I will be live streaming BMG. We are going to finish this game during that live. I will not end the, end the live stream until we finish the game. So we're going to do that because I need to get that video out, get that thing out before the update happens. I have no idea when this update's happening, and I don't want it to reset my game process which uh, would make me very sad. <laughs> All right, once we hop in the game, you'll know that things are working when you come here into the uh, kind of dealership, or I'm sorry, we're coming here to the computer and just look in your uh, purchase vehicle list. Uh, some of the cars that you want to look for is like the Ibishu Cross Sport, which I already bought one, and I'm going to show you guys that in just a second. This thing is absolutely amazing. All right, so right away off the bat, one of the few cars that is in here is the Vertex as well, the gravel, the Gavril Vertex is one of the vehicles, so we know that that mod's working. Uh, the talent is in here as well. Absolutely amazing mod. Uh, and, and yeah, that's pretty much it. There's so much stuff in this in this mod pack. Um, the T-Series have things. Uh, the the D-Series and the Rover has some things. So there's it's definitely a nice vanilla plus feel. It's a very simple video. I can't really make this any more kind of complicated. Uh, so let's let's just drive around. Let's do a little bit of career mode stuff while we're here. You know what I mean? Uh, since there's not really going to be a video this week, which I do hate that I haven't done a video in a while. But because we've been live streaming, if you guys uh, you know want to check out that live streaming, uh, this is it. By the way, this is the Stance Cross Sport, or no? What is this thing called? Yeah, Cross Sport. Uh, dude, this thing is beautiful. There's a few things I want to ask you kind of in like interview type style things. Okay, so first thing, I absolutely love the rolling chassis. What mod adds yes. that? So let me look through my stuff. Um, sorry, you're to have to give me a second. I don't remember his name off the top of my head. So that mod actually is in the default career mode because I had to add it for the dealerships. Um, oh, okay. Okay. So that one's actually not part of the mod pack, but it was recently added to it. But I did get special permissions from 13 Stewart C. 13 Stewart C. Okay, I'll I'll make sure if I remember, I'll make sure to link him down below in the mm -hmm. I'm sure he's in the beam kind of form. Um I think I think yeah. what you did here I'll, is I'll is send you the link too. Yeah, yeah. Everything everything here is absolutely amazing. I think the the cars, like the the cross sport in the vertex adds such a nice mm -hmm. like uh balance like I, I feel like it's like such a, a well-balanced car you know it's not like crazy you can't really um <laughs> do anything super mm -hmm. super crazy um, <laughs> i am excited to build that right. that flying vertex though i'm i'm pretty pumped <laughs> yeah i was really going for like a vanilla plus curated feel um i didn't want exactly. it to feel cheesy and gamey i wanted it to be something that's like wow th these things really belong in the game kind of thing i wanted dev quality uh mods uh, in, in this in dev this pack quality. nice and and so um as far as suggestions and recommendations or even input um where do you recommend people go and kind of find you um i know uh you have a few different places where we could reach you so where do you where do you think is best yeah, if you have feedback and uh, suggestions, uh, you know, specific to the uh, mod pack, I would suggest going to the BMG forums for that, um, just because it will start a discussion. Other people might have the same idea, and if we see a lot of people having the same idea, maybe we'll try a little harder to get the permissions for that mod. Um, other than that, if you have just a, a message about you know the career itself, I would say the BMG career forums or the Discord server. But uh, me and Tristan, uh, our discords are always open. Um, and so we're welcome to ask us questions directly. We might take some time to respond to you, but um, I'll definitely start with the BMG forms because um, they're pretty active there. And as far as you know, feedback and suggestions, I'm always open to feedback, always open to suggestions. Um, doesn't mean I'll always take them, um, but in my opinion, you can't have too much opinion regarding these things it's just a matter of what direction you take so um, right right uh, feel I, definitely, free to... I definitely agree with that and um i'll definitely have everything linked down below so if you guys are interested in just um you know giving uh you know racist uh what's up or just maybe suggesting a mod or something um i do have a few questions i want to debunk uh because i know sure. these will probably be asked so with sure. this 
uh, kind of career collection, we can still add other mods to this, right? We can still play any other mod. We can just activate it like normal, and then we'll be able to get in the game, and it'll have like everything you have plus what I've added, and then you know, so on and so forth, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's correct. And you can still do your own mods on top of this mod pack. Um, I'll probably still run a few mods like the uh, tire uh, wear mod or the power to weight, you know, UI mod. Um, but it's really open for you to do whatever you want with. Um, even the, you know, so even if you have these mods that are actually in the mod pack already subscribed elsewhere, uh, for my testing, it doesn't cause any issues. Um, I felt like sometimes um, you get errors showing having like duplicate files. I was afraid of that, but it looks like you can be subscribed to the um, original author's mod and have the mod pack. Um, you might have that mod more often in the in the uh, dealerships, but other than that, the game runs just fine with it. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, that was gonna be my follow up question. Like, will this interfere with the mods updating and and things like that? So, as far as updating goes, do you know how it would work? Like, if uh, let's say gamers pack ultimate pickup parts, right? Let's say there's an update for that. Sure. Uh, would you have to update your collection as well, or should it technically auto update? when the new update comes out? Is that how it works? No, I'd have to manually go in and check for the update and pull um, the information and, and manually update my, my mod as well. I aim okay. to maybe do a scrub once a week or maybe once a month, because it doesn't seem like a lot of these mods, mods get active or right, updated right. Um, okay. very often. Yeah. But I do know a few that are on their way um, that will probably get some updates soon. Perfect, perfect. So definitely uh I'm, I'm a huge fan of this um i know we talked about this and yeah uh, i was like um I, I there was a live stream we we did a live stream that you came on and surprised us with this mod uh, i was going to use that footage but the audio for whatever reason like my audio was just like i was whispering the whole time and which oh, is crazy so because i i streamed for two and a half hours and no one told me i was whispering <laughs> <laughs> so wild. obviously it didn't sound like you yeah, were whispering for the live for yeah so for discord it was fine but like if you're watching it on youtube i don't know it was like i was really quiet for some reason Weird. so um i know i was like i think you i think i went up to you and i was like i wish that beam and g had something where i could just like choose like a a, a, a file full of mods that would just be my beam and g mm -hmm. career mode mods and uh it kind of yeah. like sparked your idea and you kind of did this which i think is it totally is pretty freaking i got a lot of inspiration from it um I, you know I've, I've had several people ask me what mods to use is there a pack yes. can, you, can you package yes. all your mods together and that exactly. you know I, I typically run between 160 to 200 mods and oh my know, God. one gathering that is just not ethically correct because they're not my mods why would i repackage them and, and distribute them um and two that's just way too much and uh you know you and i have talked about mods and how you know having too many can really hamper performance and and you said yes. exactly what you told me um where he's like man if there's just like one thing i can activate and deactivate and i kind of wanted it too because i do a lot of testing and sometimes i need to turn off my mods and instead of deactivating 200 mods i can just deactivate my one and yeah, uh, exactly. they finally clicked when you when we were talking. You're, and I was like, "What if I just?" Because I really wanted to make you a pack. You know, I wanted you to like have that one stop click thing. And uh, yeah, it was definitely it motivated me to reach out to all the creators. And it, it didn't take as long as I thought. And honestly, reception was super welcoming. Um, I was surprised with how excited the other creators were for the project and and willing to share their um, creations. Yeah, that's that's the biggest thing about our Beam and G community, man. If you message someone in the Beam forums, like a creator, uh, they're going to get back to you pretty quick. I, I don't think yep. every single creative I've ever had to like message about a mod or something or even just general questions, they're always very nice and very polite. So I'm very thankful for that because it makes doing things like this a lot <laughs> easier. Um, I do, I do uh, you know, want to thank you for this. Um, I know a lot of people yeah. probably won't thank you. Um, this is actually really neat. And for someone who doesn't have like the best computer in the world, I noticed no performance change. Uh, like, Good. like my computer runs probably even better since it's more optimized for this stuff. Uh, right. So I, I do, I do see no performance change. So if you guys do kind of have like a slower computer, um, I can guarantee that, <laughs> or not guarantee, but I can, <laughs> I can vouch for saying that it, it is, uh, it's not that heavy on your computer. Um, I've had someone yeah. say that the RLS map itself is is pretty heavy on their computer and they have to run the no map version and i think it's yeah. awesome that you even did that like there's a no map version 
I think that's that's freaking crazy. That's wild. Yeah, big that's shout out awesome. to Tristan. I think that was more his idea to do that no map version. Um, yeah. I, I I think a lot of the the extra weight of uh, you know the extra tax for people's PCs with a career mode uh, was one coming from the map itself and adding. I I, I mean I added a whole forest. It was I think I think I think it's gorgeous. <laughs> it looks great. Man, oh, heavy. it looks beautiful. Yeah. Um, but then yeah. and so I thought about thinning it out, and I still might go back and thin it out. Um, but the other thing we tried to do this latest update 2.0.10 was um, I reworked all the deliveries and you'll notice it's a lot less of volume of how many individual um, deliveries and more about quantity. So you're going to see a lot less partial uh, parcels, little office supplies, food runs um, and less individual options. But you're also will see yeah. at least with the heavier cargo like, hey, you know, I can take 16 pallets or 16 boxes of, of, of things instead of like one or two or three. Um, oh, makes sense. It also, yeah. it also adds to like the whole realism effect of, you know, you pull up to the quarry maybe and you want to deliver a full truckload and you got your truck and trailer. Well, there's 32 crates right there. That's a full truckload or there's a half truckload or a quarter truckload that you can deliver. Um, yeah. So no, hopefully that's, that's... players see some performance uh, increase on that. Increase, yeah. So yeah, obviously we can't guarantee that this is going to run smoothly on your potato computer, right. but we can uh, <laughs> pretty much. If you were to look up my specs and kind of compare it to your computer, it would it would run. It would run pretty decently. Um, but yeah, mm. I think that's pretty much it. Races, thank you for spending a few minutes with me just to kind of get this little mini interview in. Absolutely, uh, I, I love know it. that. Uh, I know that a lot of people can just. Or I know I couldn't. Um, but I really wanted to do something like this and I had no idea where to start. So I'm glad you were alive that I can just <laughs> kind of let you know how to, you know, what I want. And then you kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. Put it in your um, order. So at the end of the day, what you're saying is the reason this mod is here is because of me. So we're just going to leave it at that. It, sure. Um, sure. Yeah. It's a big part. <laughs> it was a big piece though. No, no lie. I mean, you and I have talked about That's a lot of ideas back and forth. You're really in touch with your yeah. community. Um, you do a great job with your community and um you, without you. your your support and ideas you know i don't think we'd be half as far as we are with all the mods that we have so oh that, that, means, a lot. that means a lot i'll definitely get some royalties off of that uh sentence editor make sure we <laughs> clip that and uh <laughs> send it to legal uh <laughs> yeah send it to legal put it in the back burner just in case he uh, tries to go against <laughs> us all right well uh Absolutely. thank you racist for your time man i appreciate it if you guys did enjoy the end of this uh beautiful mod kind of uh, show off showcase whatever we would call it um smash that like button man go to racist's channel and subscribe to him just say what's up leave a huge like on his last video uh we will be streaming this week if you guys are watching this you know in real time and uh, so on and so forth we have a lot of stuff planned a lot of games a lot of challenges that we got to do so uh, just just stay tuned man we're we're uh career mode is is a uh, full swing <laughs> <laughs> absolutely <laughs>